Hey y'all, so today we're going to be checking out Poetry Island. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. I'm Shy in Second Life, and on this channel we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life. And I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So I saw some word in here. So this is Poetry Island. So they do have rentals. If we come across some rentals that are, of well, some homes that are available for rent we're gonna um check it out so when i panned out this land did not look very large but it seemed like it had a lot of goodies on it so i wanted to check it out i saw all the houses and i kind of was hoping that it was something that was decorated i do love this around so i'm kind of hoping i didn't put myself in a position as to where all of these houses that i think are something that we can explore are actually um rentals that's gonna be messed up but we shall see i no longer pre-check these lands if it look nice i'm gonna go ahead and and cut the camera on maybe i should start doing something a little bit more in depth so they have this little seating area here and a little poem that you could read so i'm wondering if like the different areas that they have if they have a poem that go that coincides with the space or are they just like random random poems i don't know maybe i'll read one of them to see who knows so this is very pretty this has a really cute like by the countryside type vibe and i really really do like that i also love that it's so like quaint and cute it's kind of difficult for me to pinpoint let's look at this boat for me to pinpoint like the time like the year that this setting is placed because the way that the decorations are it really could be either one is given very patty you know and i i like that you know i i love a good bread truck you know i've only ever seen these in second life not saying that they wouldn't have it in states but this is it's a very french thing i love these details that's what it feels like so let's see what we have over here oh this is a cute little space so this these two are rentals, a thousand prims for 2,400 lendings a piece. Can we walk in here? You know what? I think I've seen this house before. This is a Scarlet Creative home. And this house just goes on and on and on. Yeah, like three floors. In all honesty, a thousand prims is not even enough. And then they have like a little store over here. Okay, so this land is cute. It has it has a nice summer, like French summer type um, vibe to it, especially with this lemonade. And I find it quite refreshing because a lot of the lands are switching from the fall. This still very much so has a fall theme to it. Um, with these decorations every place is switching over to winter so it is nice that i can still catch a little bit of the fall um lands because i'm going i'm a miss fall i'm a miss fall with the beautiful colors everybody did a oh the land showed up and showed out for fall and i've come across quite a nice amount of winter lands and i am super stoked about it because i know when they were gonna you know step into high gear because they were kind of dragging their feet to me but you know you just gotta be patient for things that's that's all you just gotta be patient look how pretty this is super cute mm -hmm. yeah yeah y'all so which way do i want to go i want to go this way y'all so i don't you know i don't normally what what are we calling it getting lifted smoking ganja i don't know i haven't done it for a while you know i take my breaks i have to because i don't have no real in my opinion those bunnies are super cute i don't have no real self-control when it comes to that if i'm smoking i'm smoking I'm not a, I'm going to smoke today and then I'm going to be good. I'm not going to smoke no more. I'm not, I'm not one of them. 
I, I wish I was. It has to get to a point. So this is a cute little thing that you can sit in. Does it have it? Does it give me a hand? Yeah, you can sit in this. Take some cute little pictures. Um, so I try to steer away from like the actual herb like so just like smoking it so i started like dabbling in edibles and you know they're cool to me you know what i thought this was gonna be like it normally is but they snatched the back off i love that in them they turned it into something else i love seeing stuff like this this originally was a greenhouse not only did they do that but it also looks at, like they shrunk down the walls i don't remember this being this narrow they ripped the back out genius i love it but so the edibles are nice but what i don't like about them is i do kind of feel like they don't last as long as like smoking some green does or has me and that's for me that's one of the downsides i don't know if my tolerance is just high regardless of how long i go without i don't know and then also um like if you get the one is not enough i'm not i'm not even gonna go all into no details one is not enough and so i'm like if i feel like i gotta do three if that's what i'm feeling like like maybe i could try that baby i need to be i need to be messing with it i don't need to be messing with that because what i do notice is people who look how nice this looks is it is that if people be getting right with just one why am i barely feeling anything with two i'm like so three uh-uh i don't like that i don't like that i said no that's how that's how them uh truly addicted be getting started i said no baby we we not doing that look how nice it's every time y'all every time I know y'all like she finna bring it up. I am. I missed this on the weekend sale. I'm still upset with myself about it. Now, what I will say is no shade to them, but the food has evolved so much in Second Life where that doesn't even, that quality is not really given for me anymore because it went from stuff looking like that sandwich to stuff. What are we going to look at? We're going to look at this over here to stuff looking like this like look at that shine look look at this shine so i don't know i don't know but now i don't now i'm not really feeling all that type of a way about missing out on that sale these tables are super cute i love how they decorated this space yes so okay okay i'm gonna see what this land time at what this land time at I love this. Now I will say I came here earlier and it was dark and I was like, um, well, what type of, is that a dolphin? What type of lighting is this where it's not even late and it's dark. So y'all just have y'all laying dark like that. And I was like, no, I can't do that for this video. I can't do that. The thing about, the thing I love about Second Life is it doesn't really have to make sense. It just has to be aesthetic. It just has to look aesthetic. I don't know if this, if it would be dolphins over here. I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't. So y'all know I love a good stream. Love a good stream. Y'all, so I did my nails. So excited. And I found the perfect length where I can have them with some length but um i can still do all the things that i need to do with um like the high keys and things like that so i'm super excited so they have lots of nice setting spaces now i will tell you this um the sunflowers cute but they are doing a little bit of something for my is it called trifophobia look i said i should know the name if, if i if i deal with it this is a dust bunny um item when i tell you top tier and i don't know if it's because i done messed around with this edible but these colors is really popping they really they really popping yeah i don't really like how these sunflowers look i'm gonna go back and edit this like girl do this shit over look at this okay because see i feel like i don't want it to run long oh it's something down there too 
Y'all, I be in Second Life exploring. Is this, can I go in this house? Y'all, the heat done came on. I be feeling like I need to say something about that every time because I don't want y'all to be like, what the hell is that in the back? It's, it's the heat. I'm nice and toasty over here. So it's two places over here. This one doesn't have nothing on it. It doesn't say for rent or anything. This one is for rent. It's the thousand prims for 2400 Lindens. I'm going to check that house out because I think that's a house that we can just randomly go into because it's nothing on this. Not this one, but the bigger one that we saw before. I'm like, okay, how do I get in here? Oh, you know what? I have this. I wonder how they decorated this. So they do offer furnished. Can I open this door? They do offer furnished rentals. Let me see. How cute is it? Do y'all know I was really struggling to, to do a video earlier? And it's so weird because um, I'm feeling much better um i'm like why what what is it i was just continuously being distracted look at this and i'm starting to think it's it's it might it might have been in edibles because listen when i'm not i'll be i'll be on top of it i said okay baby if you're gonna make me drag i'm done with you i'm as i'm as done with you i love these this looks so so yummy i'm not really a fan of caramel apples but i really love the way that they look that's very fall i love it i love the color of this kitchen it's a why it's a bathtub in here i don't know maybe they're using it for something else you know i would have i don't know because the bed right there so now no now i don't know why wouldn't you put the uh the table right there like why well i don't know if it would be enough anywho look how nice this look now y'all Y'all, I know this ain't Dust Bunny. Listen, I used to think that this was the end all be all when it kind of said, listen, they ate with that. They ate with that. At the time, they did. At the time, they maybe it's, maybe it's my graphics. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm... But that was that was such an old meshing of theirs. Their food is top tier, like top top tier. They move with the times. I will say that. So let me shut up. This is cute, but I'm just like, why wouldn't you put? I, I would rather I would rather have to walk around the table right here than have a damn tub in the kitchen. Kitty cornered. Kitty cornered at that. You got a kitty cornered bath tub. Listen, I'm not. I'm not saying nothing about your decorations. I'm just saying, I wouldn't have done that. That's all I'm saying. Put it. Put it down when you're ready to role play. You know, I don't, I don't know how often people use. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. This looks nice. Cause I promise you, say what you want to say. But if y'all think I'm coming over here, going through the whole shebang and second, like, absolutely not. I'm getting dressed and I leave. I'm like, I do it. I do it. Sometimes we finna look in this house. I do it sometimes if I'm in the mood, but hell no, I'm not coming on. I'm not even about to sit here and fake the fun. I'm not coming over here. That's one thing I didn't like is that their doors were transparent. I said, I don't know. And I don't know if they are able to turn that off. I'm not coming on here and brushing my teeth and taking a shower and all that shit before i leave and second like hey, i'm not doing it i'm not doing it say what you want to do say what you want to say i'm not doing it it's second life like no people are like well you have to treat him like it's you absolutely not i i, I don't treat her like I, she walks through fires like no no people be getting me with that but if that's how you get down that's how you get down are all these rooms decorated Okay, this give now for the for this touring purpose. For this touring purpose, uh I like that the doors are transparent. But on the everyday thing though, I do like the realism of my doors opening and closing. But yeah, you know, I don't know. Do people like do that in second life? Like every time you get on, like you really do like the, all the real life stuff? Or do sometimes y'all just be getting dressed and leaving? Now sometimes I do do the the real life stuff, you know? I got it. I'm going to use it. Now, side note, I have this buffet. 
And can I, okay, what a button there for me? I'm, I'm trying to zoom in. When I tell you this buffet has moved with the times, in my opinion, it has a very classical, has a very classic um, design to it. But the way that they painted it with the different tones, chef's kiss, I love it. You can put it anywhere and it's gonna look nice. I promise you. But I don't know, you know, but if y'all see a day in a life and I'm doing all that mad y'all business, okay, just enjoy the vibe. Now, it's, you know what? I don't know if it's an update or whatever, but before this update, I could put my level of detail on two or 2.5 and everything that I needed to see came up. I could zoom out, everything was good to go. But now, and, and I'm gonna say all of a sudden, cause I just noticed that with this one, I, I had to put my damn level of detail at, at four sometimes. And I'm like, is it, it should it have always been there and I've had it low? Or is it something going on with the, let me look at this lemon cake again. That was looking too nice. Or is it something going on with the, um, the settings? I don't know. I don't know, but I love that. But what I will say is that, that is something that I definitely have found, um, a difference in and sometimes I have to go in and play around with my level of detail and that's something else look how nice this this video gonna be long as hell I could tell I could tell I don't know it, it feels like I've been I've been doing this long but I'm really enjoying myself and that's why I kind of feel like it because I'm kind of the time is escaping me y'all Look how nice these are. Now, these are not, these look like, um, you know what? They look, they look like Honeycrisp, but I want to say they, I want to say Macintosh, but I think the Macintosh ones are like the really, really rare ones. I don't like the Macintosh ones. I don't. They're pretty, but mm -mm. what's, oh wait, what's over here? They are, um, pretty, but. I don't, I don't like the flavor for me. Maybe in a dish, but like standalone, no. This is a big ass thing of cheese, okay. I love looking at the mesh in a second life and just, oh, this goes with that casserole. Okay, nice. I love, and this is the Apple Fall Kitchen. I love their very classic olden days vibes that they have with their um furniture their meshing is nice as well very realistic well we back to the front all right so i'm not mad at this land it gave what it needs to gave mm -hmm. it gave what it needs to gave 